Is this play killing you? Or maybe it's this vicious combo of crossers that constantly gets you down. Just eating up your defense yard after yard and you don't know how to stop it. Maybe it's one of those situations where you're playing against Alabama because everybody loves to play against Alabama. And Milrow just is running around free and wide open just throwing the ball to people because he's always out of the pocket. If any of those are really bothering you, then let me give you some tips here that can help you. First off, let's dive quickly into the playbooks so that way you can just better understand why I choose which playbook that I run. So playbooks, you can see here that there's a whole bunch of different playbooks that you can choose from. A lot of the teams run either a 4-3 or a 4-2-5, and I'm going to cover that real quickly just so you have like the base understandings of it. So if you see here, the squares are the down linemen, the big boys. The circles are your linebackers, and you can see the circles. They're connected to the bottom of the yellow circle and the purple circle. And then you have little crosses, little Xs. Those represent defensive backs. So a 4-3 would be four down linemen, three linebackers, four guys over the top. Your 3-3-5 would be three down linemen, three linebackers, and then five guys of the defensive back over the top. And then you have your, which is my favorite playbook to run, which is three down linemen, four linebackers, and then five guys, uh, four guys over the top. So I highly recommend either running a 3-3-5 or a 3-4. Now, why is that? Simply because you are more versatile. Where you get beat a lot of times on the outside, you don't have enough speed. Um, and when a four, you have a 4-3, you have four big boys, right? So 4-3 means that you have four down linemen. So that usually means you have two defensive tackles. Both are around like 290, 300 pounds, probably have a speed of 60 not very useful not very helpful so you don't really like that you don't really want that now if you're in a 335 you only have one of those guys and then you have a lot more linebackers who have more speed and more speed means they can track down things they have better awareness they are pretty much you you may be a little bit more susceptible to the run game but at the same time like you have more speed on the field to cover people, to track people down, to play man-to-man, -man, which is something that I highly recommend is running as much man blitz as possible. And like I said, you can make any playbook work, right? I'm not saying here, it's saying like this is the best playbook in the world because depending on your play style, it may not be. But at the same time, my recommendation is either a 3-3-5 or a 3-4. Get as much speed on the field as possible so that way you can eliminate those crossers, you can eliminate these double passes, these jet sweeps, anything like that. You want more awareness and more speed on the field. So that's just covering the quick formations. Now let's let's help you stop all of these plays. Now that we covered the playbooks really quickly, don't forget to like and subscribe on this video. I hope it's helping you. Let's talk about my favorite coverages to run, right? So I really love running cover to man. If you have a team that is really good man to man, and if you're building an ultimate team, if you're building a dynasty team, whatever you're building, highly recommend getting some people who are really good at man to man defense. Because if you can run man-to-man -man defense, then you can blitz a lot. And if you can blitz a lot, then quarterbacks don't have a lot of time to get out of the pocket. Quarterbacks don't have a lot of time to throw. And people have to make very quick decisions. So that's my number one tip is build whatever team you have to run man-to-man. -man. Second tip, uh, these um, these plays that I have here are the ones that I, I kind of lean in. Obviously, there's a lot of man-to-man -man blitzes. Um, one of my favorite man-to-man -man blitzes to run is middle blitz zero. Both guys in the A-gap. You can run a lot of variations off of this. That's a main blitz that I'd love to run. Cover two man, I love to run the dime two three odd. Now you can see here, based on the playbook, right, that I showed you, only three squares, which means only three down linemen, only two linebackers, and then the rest of them are defensive backs. So you have a lot of good people who can play coverage uh, out there on the field, and that's exactly what you want. Cover four, I'm going to talk about this in a second, but cover four drop is hands down the best. You can see you have two people in the hook curl zone, the, the yellow circles there, rather than the one. That is one of the best ones to drop if you are trying to get into pass coverage. Running that exclusively, you could be just fine just doing that over and over and over and over again. Eventually, people will have to just throw underneath, and long as you're willing to just tackle, that can be hands down be one of the best that you can run. You want to run cover one. There's a couple of different options here. Cover one hole is a really good one. 
And if you really have a really fast running quarterback, like you're playing against Miami, a lot of people like to use that quarterback to run. Just run cover one spy. This is a really good play that you can definitely run. I'm a big cover six person. I love running cover six. I love running cover six with the hard flat. That's that blue circle. I love running that into the boundary. Um, so that way you have less room for them to go into the boundary and then use your big purple, you know, your comeback outside zone out towards the field. But the best cover six that I actually love to run is called cover six Willie. What this is, it's half cover six and half man to man with a man over the top. So a two man under. This is really good because people get really confused basing like trying to figure out whether you're in man to man, whether you're in zone, they get really confused and you can really mess people up. Now, I highly recommend running the zone to the short side of the field and running the man to man to the wide side of the field just for, for logistic reasons. Cover three, there's a bunch of cover threes. A lot of people know cover three. I stopped running a lot of cover three simply because everyone just runs those crisscross verticals and cover three will never stop those crisscross verticals because it will just mess the people up. I don't run any zone blitzes, cover two. I try not to run that as well because a lot of people run a lot of verticals, but in the goal, goal area, cover two hard flat is really good. This one right here though, double man is something that I highly recommend you test out. Double bracket, right? So double bracket, one double wide receiver and one double wide receiver two. Pretty much any versions of these are absolutely fantastic if you have a really good man-to-man -man defense. Now, what is this? This means that they're running a double team on one of the receivers, right? One double wide receiver one means a safety and a corner are both double teaming your number one receiver that you're going up against. Wide receiver two would be just the wide receiver number two. Double bracket means you have a double double team on, on both sides of the ball. So these are really good man-to-man -man plays. So those are the best plays that I highly recommend. Like I said, feel, feel free to leave down a comment of the ones that you love to run. And uh, we'll dive on into this here. So we're going to talk we're going to talk about double crosses here and before we talk about double crosses what I like to just say is like make sure you're using your cover just coverage adjustments to your liking right so like I can do if you want a different video on me going through the in-depth different coverage adjustments that you can do let me know I will do that if you want to but let's just do a really quick version of it you can hit triangle or Y to give your coverage adjustments which means you can disguise your coverage so always you should be disguising coverages if possible so if you use the left stick, you can show cover three, you could show cover two, you can you can do whatever you whatever you really want. You can press up. Those are, are, are highly recommended things. So one of my favorite things that I love to do is use R1 and I love to spread out my entire defense, right? So like I love to just spread everybody out simply because people like to beat you on the edges. So if you hit R1 and then you flick the stick up, everyone is kind of spread out. I love to run cover four against this play. Now, you can see here, obviously, you know, there's going to be times in which this works. Defense is very difficult in this game. And you have to you have to really be adjusting properly and on the fly. But cover four, what it does is it puts people in these zones, right? The only way you can really get beat by this in cover four is if you press up and then somebody hits you over the top. But all of these times, like you can see, these guys are just running into a bunch of people on these zones. So like this is the fastest way to stop the double crossers that you just get cooked on over and over and over again. Now, if somebody is like running the ball all over you now, right? Simply because you're you're so far back off the ball and they're just like gashing you in the run game and you're like, oh no, like now if you are get gashed by that run game, you just have to get a sense of a feel for it, right? So like you feel like they're gonna run the ball on this play, you just hit triangle and then you hit R1 or Y and R1 or right bumper and now you're showing blitz everyone's up on the line closer you're still in cover four but everyone's closer to the line and you just you're running the ball and people are just right up there it's less likely you're going to give up small plays but you have to obviously give up something in one of these situations and i'd rather give up a few yards on to a running back and let somebody beat me running the ball than give up a big 60 yard 40 yard 30 yard pass on a big chunk play now let's talk about like jet sweeps and things like that. If this play is beating you all the time, you're just constantly getting cooked. You don't really know what to do. And it's just constantly getting you there. What I highly recommend doing is, like I said earlier, shift and spread your defense out. You spread your defense out, you're 
you're in a much wider spot where there's somebody waiting right there for that. It's literally all you have to do is just widen your defense out. Shift, spread your defense out. And even if like you don't want to, you don't, so like you can see here, right? When you shifted last time, when you shifted last time, it's it brought your entire team back. You can just shift your linebackers. And it's something that I really like to do. Hit right on your D-pad, shift your linebackers wide. And now they have a free run to come in there and they'll stop this all the time. So keeping your entire defense wide is some one of the best tips that I can give you to stopping anything. Just because you want to keep people as wide as possible. Keep it all contained where all the big boys are. And that, that's one of the best things that you can possibly do. So like, let's just recap here. Some of the best things. I went over the best coverages. Widen your defense. Use cover four to stop the verticals. If you have a running quarterback, use the cover one quarterback contain. And mix it up. Mix it up. Show disguise different coverages. Sometimes play as the defensive lineman and then pull them off. Like throw confusing things at people so that way they don't fully understand it. It's something that you can do to trick pretty much whoever you're, you're playing. So I hope this helps. These are just some of the few tips. Let me know if you guys want me to do deep dives into more that I run. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope it helps. Catch you guys later.